Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Dev with Dev. Now you have to subscribe and and like the video if the content helps you. So today we'll learn about S3 retrieval methods. Okay, so the first one is S3 standard. This is usual access, which is your usual need, where your data will be frequently stored, used, retrieved. You can use S3 standard for all those things. Then there is S3 intelligent query. This is unpredictable access. Hota. So basically, if you don't know कि आपको क्या use करना चाहिए, like आपका data कब access होगा, कैसे access होगा, या अब जो भी needs आपके, you are not sure about them, then then you can use S3 intelligent query. <coughs> then there is S3 standard infrequent access. इसमें क्या होगा कि if you your data wouldn't be accessed frequently, you can use this one. Okay. So this is also called as S3 IA. Then there is S3 one zone IA. This is same as standard IA, but the data is stored only in one availability zone rather than three. Here the data would be stored in three availability zones. Then S3 glacier instant retrieval. This is to quickly retrieve data from archive. Needs milliseconds. So your data will be in the archive, mein rahega, but you need few milliseconds. But in a little time, mein hi your data would be retrieved. Then here S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval. Here you have data archived rega, and it requires few minutes to hours to retrieve the data. So this is an archive on a deeper level. And the deepest is S3 Glacier Deep Archive. This is a data archive and it can take up to hours to retrieve the data. Okay. Then there is S3 Outpost. This is saving the data on your on device storage. And then AWS services can use them also. So the cost reduces as we move down the list. So as we move down the list, cost reduces. So S3 standard ka highest cost hai, and S3 outpost ka lowest cost. Hai. And everything in between is between them. So that's all. Thank you.